everyone today we're going over the best setup and how to get everything in it now currently i don't even have the best setup because you know the cape actually um you kind of need the cloud of awakening which is you know the best setup for the um fruit and fruit is the best right now but that that cape is really hard to get right the cloud of awakening i'm still showing you how to get it i'm on my way grinding for it but if you want a good substitute you want to come to the buddha raid right okay so now let's get into this so you want to start at marine ford you want to get a couple of friends who are powerful enough you want to go to the buddha raid and want to make sure you get this cape the all-seeing cape okay it's not going to Okay, let me just find it. Also, seeing um, Admiral Pants. So it, it's similar to this. I don't know what it is. I, I'll have to scroll through it, but it's the All Seeing Admiral Cape. That's what it's called. It should be somewhere around here. It's uh, somewhere or another. That's what you can replace with the, um, the Cloud of Awakening. But you get it from the Buddha Raid, as I said. And you need to get the Buddha Fruit. Once you get the normal Buddha Fruit and the Buddha Fruit um, scroll, you want to have the normal fruit and use the main scroll. And then run straight over here and talk to this NPC, right? This guy right here. Once you talk to him, he'll remove your fruit. And then, yeah. So after you do this step, you'll have the cape. And you'll have the Buddha fruit, which is a really good start. But the next part, you want to head over to Whole Cake. So I'll see you there. Alright, so once you arrive at Whole Cake, there's two sets of things that you need to do here. So first, thing you'll need to do is you'll need to do the Alkizi raid and get two specific drops from him. Let me kind of get over there. Now this boss, the Alkiji boss, is actually quite strong. Um, not as strong as Buddha though. Buddha is a um, bit stronger than him. But so once you're here, you want to head over to the Alkiji raid, and you want to get. Oh, I'll show you what you need to get. Right here. Let's go to the I Ice Admiral, not Alkiji. But yeah, you need the um, the Ice Admiral chest trench coat and then the ice admiral's hat as you can see is what i have and then the next step you want to do is you want to stand here once you get those two things from the raid you want to come back to whole cake and you want to stand on this island for 10 minutes and then there's an un unknown percent chance that a um another raid will spawn there's another raid that i can spawn and it's the doe prince so i think it's called raid something something like that the Doe King, Doe Prince, something like that raid. And that raid is a raid that spawns, um, like, you need, you, it only spawns every 10 minutes. So if you press no when it asks you if you want to replay the raid or not, um, it'll kick you out of the raid and you have to wait another 10 minutes for the boss to spawn. So you want to keep pressing yes on that raid. You can't leave it. But what you, what you want to get are the, um, the donuts, the donut, um, pants. As you can see, I have on right here. Right. And then the next step, I'm not going to go all the way over there because it kind of takes a while. But if you go to First C and then to Sky Pia, there will be a boss with 30 billion HP. And he drops the gold bands. And you want to have those for your arm accessories. Right. So that goes over all the accessories that you're going to need. For the hot bar and the title, what you want is Toji with the inverted spear of heaven mode. Sukuna with king of curses and the... Let me just turn it on real quick. And the uh, with this treasure, just the Maharaga mode. Right? This one. I'm not going to say all, all of it. Alright, and then, then let's just turn on Toji. You want to get Helsing. You need Helsing for this. You want to do, you want to have your hockey on always. And the Helsing mode. And you also want Dragon Slayer. And since we're not sword mains, you could also do the Pirate King sword. Since it's the same buff. But I prefer, but I prefer this sword. Um, I just like it better. And then you want uh, this, the advanced Buddha fruit, and you want to do the 100% Buddha. All right. Once you have this, you also need Sun God. Now, Sun God is acquired by having 25,000 raid tokens, but there's uh, from the challenge raid. There's also a way easier way to do this. Now, how you do it? Is I'll actually show you right now. And you can get Sun God. That's how I got Sun God. It took me about an hour. And it was super easy. Challenge raid. You do the challenge raid. 
and every 80 waves so when you get to 80 wave 80 if you don't get it if you beat wave 80 and you go to 81 then you can reset it and then try it again right and once that happens you can get um sun god because every 80 waves it's a 10 percent chance to get it it took me two 80 percent right by each time or i mean 80 waves for the 10 percent but each time me and my friend we went to 100 so it took us about an hour to complete and on my second time i got sun god but i didn't notice until after it so i haven't taken sun god into this challenge raid yet but i still have it now what i was talking about earlier with the cloud of awakening for the back accessory uh you just want to do the challenge raid a ton it helps if you buy the 2x raid points but you want to do it a ton and once you've done it like so so many times see some god titles right here but i got it in an hour super easy anyways the cloud of uh, um the cloud of a uh, cloud of awakening 15,000 15,000 is quite a lot yeah so that's pretty much all you need to do to get this cloud but that can be substituted out with this cape in the, in the meantime I'll go show you the damage for this whole setup um, without the Cloud of Awakening. It'll be a bit more when you have Cloud of Awakening, but not a huge difference. Like, maybe, maybe 100 to 200 mil difference. Very, very little difference. We're at the blacksmith's house, and of course I encourage you guys to get Buddha maxed out from the blacksmith. Uh, it's not that hard to do. Just grind for a little bit. So let me get all my modes on real quick. You get your modes on. Uh, should uh, your aura should look like this, and then yeah, your uh, your Buddha like this. All right, so let's start with the M1s. With this setup, the M1s do 1.8 billion, as you can see. Now, it does like 1.86, right? And this does 1.82. So it's a bit more if you have the Cloud of Awakening, cloud awakening but it's not that much. Q-Move with this setup, which is technically the second best setup because, you know, no Cloud of Awakening. You'll get per stomps 600 mil and it does three, um, three stomps, you get 1.8 bill as well. A bit less than the uh, M1s though. The M1s are insane on this. The B-Move, you kind of want to jump before using it because it glitches around. You get 2.1 bell. And then the R move is a heal. I'm not going to use it right now, but it is a really nice heal. It's fast. Um, this, it has a really wide range, honestly. But, like, not as much as other things, of course. But 2.3 um, 2 bell. And then you want the uh, Buddha ultimate. It's like an explosion, and it's 2.6 bell. Now, on certain bosses, they have damage reduction, so it's not going to be doing the same damage if you're fighting, like, a raid boss, you know. But this is this NPC has no damage reduction right here. So you can just infinitely hit him and stuff, and he doesn't have any damage reduction. But, like, Pika, you're not going to be doing the exact same damage, but you will be doing around the same thing. So, yeah, that's it for the best setup, guys. Honestly, it's super easy to get. It took me one day, I think, because I started at like 3 p.m. yesterday, and then Sun God was the hardest thing to get. I got all of that stuff, um, like all the accessories and all that, um, uh, before that, but at the end of the day, after like a couple hours of grinding, you know, it was getting late, sun was down, and me and my friend decided to grind um, for Sun God, and we got it. So yeah, it's super easy. It's not hard at all. Um, yeah, that's just a complete guide on how to do all that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, have a nice night, everyone.